Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm excited to have Derek Johansson who's the creator and founder of CopyHour.com. And for those of you who don't know, it's the Work Your Ass Off copywriting course that's been featured on Forbes and Early to Rise. He's helped several students go from zero to six figures in under a year. And he's going to talk about how copywriting and specifically his handwriting exercises helped bring his business to the next level. Uh, in his 20s, he was a professional baseball player, basketball player, and rock star. That last part is not true, but it does say it on his website. So I almost, <laughs> those be I almost parts, believed those it. Those last three yes. parts are not true. I almost believed <laughs> it. Um, but Derek, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. This is uh, this will be fun. It will be. So Derek, since this is Inspired Insider, you know, I, I have to ask this question, which is um, what was the lowest point in your life and then what you thought about to get through that tough time? Well, it was about 45 minutes ago, right before I talked to you. <laughs> Why is no. that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, lowest point in my life was after the, the publishing uh, company uh, failed or I had to leave the company. That was, that was a very, that was a very low period uh, in my life just because from the standpoint of being embarrassed about failing, not wanting to be seen as a failure, uh, that was that was a kind of a little bit of a dark period, and I was living on the East Coast, uh, removed from my my friends and family, mm -hmm. and and right around that time, also um, my uh, my fiance's father passed away. Oh my god! So all I'm three of those, that. Things, wow. yeah, it was it was rough. Um, so all three of those things were you know kind of weighing on my mind um, at that time. So yeah, why did you think it was a failure though? If you just it's, was it really a failure if you just decided I'm going to do well, something I, else? I think I perceived it at that time as being a failure, but it, it has helped me, you know, and that's part of uh, part of the process of getting through it is is understanding that it wasn't a failure. It's just you know failing forward, um, and that was definitely something that that helped me help me move forward with it for sure. You know. Yeah. So then, what got you through that over that? Because we could say, oh yeah. This will just get me to the next level, but inside it still hurts bad. Yeah. What got you kind of your mindset on the right track at that time? Dude, I don't know if you're going to believe this, but handwriting. I'm not even kidding. Like, <laughs> you're like, so copyhour.com. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, it, it What did was... you do with handwriting at the time? Well, just that, I mean, that period was around when I found the handwriting exercise. Really? And, um, and then also, uh, you know, falling back on to my live uncomfortably mindset stuff. And I started to, I partook immediately in a bunch of challenges. Um, so doing the, uh, doing the workout program that I was, I was telling you about that mm -hmm. my friend wrote. So that, that took, I think that was about a three month period. Um, so just falling back onto the growth, uh, falling back onto growth periods that I that I kind of know work for me and know can help me move forward and not focus on the negative and yeah. you know experiment. I don't yeah. know. So there's something about experimentation yeah. that uh, that really helps you move forward. So when you're doing the handwriting, explain this to me. You're doing the handwriting. You're in a your mindset's not in a good place. What what were you thinking at the time? Did it just reverse your thinking, or you know what what happened? Well, I think it gave me uh, a rigid schedule and gave me uh, structure and form and uh, for whatever reason like got my got my mind off of things that you know were not necessarily the best in my life yeah yeah, yeah. no thanks I appreciate you yeah. sharing that it's, yeah it's tough to talk about those times sometimes yeah. now on the flip side Derek besides starting this interview what's been your proudest accomplishment <laughs> <laughs> um I mean, business related, I would say something that has been really awesome has just been seeing the success of of some of these these copywriters that I've that I was mentioning that 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 blew up and and you know started making their dreams happening uh, like that. I don't know. It, it's it makes everything kind of kind of worthwhile. Yeah, uh, for sure. And then also in my first bike race ever, I got second place. So. Nice. <laughs> That's always good.